hello everyone welcome to this video so in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can deploy your fast API application to the AWS Lambda uh, using the API gateway so let's get it started so at first guys you need to uh, do some code so I have already done the code and I already uh, set up all the route uh, the kit post uh, put and delete and so you need to do all this thing and make sure you also uh, install this one mangum package and also wrap this uh, ape with the mangum so this mangum it will just convert the https request to the asci uh, request so we, as you know that our fast api uh, it will only understand the asci request it will not understand the https request so make sure you just do this one uh, without doing this one you will not able to run the code in the lambda so this is the most important step and the next step you need to do is just put all your packages in the requirement of txt so uh, basically i'm use, using the fast api and mangam only so i'm putting this one and i'm using the 0.99.0 because uh, i'm getting some error with another person so if you also face any issue a pydentic related issue with another person then make sure to use this one uh, it will not give any error so guys this is the step that you need to do and the third step is to make the directory uh, which contains all your dependency so let's make the directory so let's follow my step okay so first of all guys you need to use the pip install pip install minus t python minus r r e q requirement that txt so you need to do this and make sure you put this python okay so it is very important if you put uh, other then you won't able to uh, run the AWS lambda okay so just enter it so it will just create the directory which name is python and it will uh, install or it will put all your dependencies inside that folder so as you can see this is the python directory and inside this one I have all the dependencies okay so this is the thing that you need to do and make sure you just go to the directory and just unzip this one okay so I'm just going to go and just zip and put this name as a layer so this is the thing that you need to do so let's go to the AWS console so guys I'm just hiding the information that is not required in the video so I'm just going to the lambda it's a function so let's go to the function so guys you guys can put the name here make sure you use the same python version of your local so just type the python to your PSCO terminal and you'll see I'm using the 3.2 content so I'm selecting it 3.2 so you also do same thing so for the role guys I'm using the existing role that my organization has provided me so I'm gonna create the function so this is our lambda guys now we need to do some configuration over here and I we need to put the API gateway settings so first of all guys let's go to this one and just rename it to the main and remove all the code from here let's go to your main.py copy it the speed paste it so if you are using the ubicon then remove that also so we are not gonna use the ubicon over here so the next thing you need to do is to specify your handler location so as you can see guys in the main.py uh, uh, we have the uh, handler here so we need to specify that one over here so I'm gonna go into the edit and uh, here I'm just going to put main dot dlr handler and make sure you are using the same python version so let's save it so guys uh, this is done now now guys we need to put the layer so what is the layer it is uh, it is the collection of the packages okay so in the layer we put our packages our dependencies so that this main.py can access that while running this code so let's go to layers and just put our dependencies over there so I'm gonna put this one is M test layer one one you guys can give your any name so I'm gonna import it 
okay so this is a layer so if your file size is greater than the 10 MB then you need to use the AWS Amazon S3 but my file size is 3.59 so I'm just gonna use the zip file so make sure follow my step and in the runtime Python runtime you select the Python 3.2 bell okay because in my local it's the Python 3.2 bell only so let's create it so copy this ERN number and go to the lambda and just go down and in the layers you just click on the add layer and just put your ERN number over here and just click on verify then you guys can add the layer so yeah I have already connected my dependencies to this code editor now I think my lambda uh, this editor can run this code using that layers which contains all the dependencies so now guys uh, we need to uh, do some more settings so first of all guys uh, let me create this functional URL okay so just go to the configuration and in the functional URL just create the functional URL just put it as a known and in the additional setting just click on this configure cross origin resources sharing and then uh, okay you just need to save it okay now our URL is ready so we can go over here and see so I'm getting the, some internal server error okay so uh, let me just go to the code okay so let me test it okay so I can give any name so I'm just giving the hello over here and gonna save this and gonna invoke so as you can see guys uh, it's not getting the main module no module name main so I'm getting this error because I have not deployed my application so make sure uh, deploy the application so I'm deploying my code yeah now I think it's okay so let me invoke it yeah and now it is okay so if I go over here and just reload this now guys as you can see we are able to get this one you can just uh, go to your swagger so UI and, uh, so if I go to the post request over here and I'll just put uh, some values okay this I'm gonna give the same name I don't wanna change it so gmail.com and I'm going to the execution yeah it's working now so if I go to the gate one try to do gate so yeah, it's returning me something so uh, you can do this one uh, by using the functional URL now I'm gonna teach you how you can also use the API gateway okay so API gateway so here I need to do some settings so first of all after going inside the API gateway you need to create the API so I'm going to go and build the rest API so you need to put your name so I'm just going to go and put mtest final one so you guys can put your name and just click on the create API so under the resources so this is our main path okay so whenever the user go to go and hit this endpoint which methods will hit so you guys can see so in the slash route I'm giving the get request and post request so you guys can specify or create the method according to it okay but I'm gonna put any so this is there is a lambda proxy integration so you make sure to enable this one so basically this is nothing this is uh, just uh, to use the API which is already in your code so if you enable this one whenever the user make a request uh, it will just pick up the route from your existing code so this one so whenever the user put slash student it will just pick up the code from this lambda okay so make sure to enable this one and just put your lambda name so the my lambda name is yaf okay yum test this one so 
I'm just going to go with the default setting and just gonna create this one. So I think it's okay, guys. This is for the uh, slash route, right? So if you want to put other route, you guys can put uh, uh, manually, but there's also one shortcut so just go to create route and just enable the proxy resources over here and just give PRO accept proxy plus so basically after doing this one it will automatically pick all the route from your lambda okay so you don't need to mention each and everything so this will default by default pick all the uh, routes all the endpoints from the lambda and make sure to enable this one and just I'm gonna create a so just click on the create resource so guys uh, we have the proxy ready so so guys uh, now you need to do you need to click on the any and in the any you just uh, click on the edit integration and here you need to yeah, do the same thing you need to put your yum yeah, test so this is my lambda and this I'm going with the default. Just click on save. Now this is the ready guys. Now whenever you just give slash and other routes, other endpoints, it will automatically pick from your lambda. So now I think everything is okay guys and just going to go and deploy this one. So no stage, new stage. So I'm gonna go and just create the new stage and I'm gonna put it as a dev and just deploy it so guys this is our URL from of the API gateway so here in the API gateway you won't be able to get the swagger okay so for accessing the swagger you need to go with the functional URL only which I have created for go to the postman and you can do testing so let me test it okay so let me open the postman and in the postman Dave and go to my VS code and let me see okay students last students so let me go over here and sorry so let me go over here and just put it over here and this is the data that I'm gonna give and just gonna see but now guys as you can see it is inserted so let me do the get request and see so yeah guys uh, I'm able to get the John Doe also so this is how you guys can just uh, deploy your fast API application so I have shown you the both way the API gateway and the functional URL so for the production level environment make sure to go with the API gateway not with the functional one so yeah this is my suggestion and guys uh, this is how you can deploy your application in the AWS so thank you for the video guys so if you like this video then make sure to subscribe my channel also like the video and if you have any confusion please drop your comment in the comment box okay so thank you guys